got all the hides. It's like, that's a lot of hide, man. Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're a new viewer. I'm corrupt as all hell at the moment. Me and Baz are here are about to do the Jubble Sarg dungeon. I thought I'd do a little guide. We're going to go get a lot of hide, learn the Jubble Sarg religion. So that should be good too because he's really handy. I'll get into that a bit more once I've actually learned the religion. Baz is um, taking a little while to heal and I'm about to feed him some potions and stuff. I um, have a bit of a weird build that I'm experimenting with. So we'll see how that goes. I do advise bringing some type of encumbrance build and I have this corrupt authority build that I'm trying out with some corrupt vitality. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know yet. I haven't messed much around with corruption. This is kind of just testing a few things out that I've seen and I've also got my own kind of twist on it. I don't know. We'll see if it's shit or not. But this is kind of like a farmy authority build that I'm working with at the moment. I have a bear of thrall so I don't get like slot capped because there's a lot of different hides. There are better hide runs to do I think than here. Easy enough to do low level and it's a good source of different meats as well and some different resources. Anyway we'll get to that you'll see in the video. Okay Baza let's feed you a potion. I don't have anything better at the moment. I need to go around and learn some recipes. I gave him a little bit of something something and you also need feral flesh to buy the potion of midnight from the guy or you can learn the recipe and make it at home. I'm going to buy that. Then you go to inventory. Steam the potion. Now you want to do this quickly because it does expire quickly. And also, just for reference, we are here on the map. Okay, quit out of that. And then you'll be in this little grove. Drinking this water will take you to Serpumaru, the pools. I think it's like right here. It teleports you to a little island somewhere there. We'll see that at the end as well because that's how we'll be getting home. It's a fun little way to teleport around. So you want to bring like some type of um, weapon, some decent armor because you don't have to fight everything. You can kind of run through some stuff, but there's some pretty good stuff in here. And you will get full really quickly skidding all the guys. There's a lot of enemies. You can also get um, saber cat babies and a few different other babies. I'll skin him while that guy's killing him. Ooh. Yeah, even some lasting face. So even if you don't come in encumbrance build, like look at that, I'm already super full. Although I'm not wearing very good encumbrance armor. You get a couple of options. This way, it's more hyenas and kind of a spirally thing and more people. I want to go this way and kill some pigs. This is the way I usually come. Good salsa pork. Now, because he's a Barathrol, he's not exactly the best at killing things, and I have no stamina because of my weird build. So this might take a little longer. Probably edit out a bunch of this skinning for the sake of time. There's also a pretty decent source of Amanita mushrooms. You need them. I was out getting bark, that's why I have a pick and a pickaxe. <laughs> You can stack the regeneration buff to like essentially regenerate quicker, but I don't know how quick it goes. Oh, you flippy motherfucker. I'm not sure if every time I damage my thrall, if it's going to end in bad news for me. I'm just going to take the absinthe for sharing damage and stuff. I don't know how thralls work now. Still experimenting. I'm not a huge thrall user other than them being kind of like an aggro sponge and occasionally assisting in things like knocking stuff out. Purge defense, base defense. Now you got to level them all up. They have undurability. It does help trying to get them in a pile. It can't always be done. I'm pretty sure my thrall is on attack. Defend me. I'm pretty sure he's on defend me. If you die, you will spawn back in the dungeon, which is nice. But these guys do spawn back pretty quickly. If you're being taken slowly through the dungeon, you've got to run to your stuff. If you have um, death on. Um, if you have drop death, loot on death, that one. I like to take out archers ASAP because durability on stuff. And they're crippley. It's annoying. Ugh. Ah, I've really got to watch my health because I'm super not used to having this lower health. You can see all the people as well. They just end up full of legs and things. Right now, I don't want that. I know, I think me and my thrill are like kind of smashing. We're a decent team. There are a lot of wolves up here, so it will be interesting. I probably want to use a shield. Yeah, you don't need to be level 6. So you don't even need to have epic armor to come in here most of the way, to be honest. The end boss himself isn't too bad. Ah, come back here, wolf. 
Go get that guy here. Yeah, well, I skin things. Team effort. Obviously, if you do come with clan mates, this is a walk in the park. I am on solo player, so there's none of that for me. Whoop. Out of the way. It's always going to be weird getting used to the transmogged armor. I feel like I should be really weak, and I'm not as weak as I am. Really squishy more, I should say. They don't have transmogged weapons, apparently. If I was on PvP, I'd be a lot of transmogged my axe. Oh, sure. And because I'm so fucking corrupt, I decided to put a bit more clothing on just because it was gross. Um, I'm facing him, aim, man. I'm gonna have tar for days. Oh shit. Oh shit. So many wolvesies. I find if you run like little circles around most mobs, they get pretty confused. And because I'm not good at dodging or like particularly fighting at all, that's what I find works for me. As you can see, we're already like a quarter of the way through the dungeon and please look at. I will inevitably end up being too full, but I would like to be as not as full for as long as possible. I could even eat like a lasting feast and that will give me extra carry capacity, even though I've got encumbrance build and they'll just ride over my like 60 health that I got from the mystery meat soup or like whatever. The other guy can have some of his potions taken off him and stuff as well. Try and be as less full as long as possible to have as much stamina for as long as possible, especially when I'm going to have to fight like bears. Oh shit. I don't know if it's even worth using the slightly fancier potions whilst um so corrupt because I like don't have any health anyway. Oh sneaky wolf. Yeah, if you're weak, come through here slow because these guys end up sundering you quite a lot and you don't want to get like four stacks of sunder because then you have like no armor. Sunder is bad unless you're using it, then it's good. It's quite advisable to put like a warhammer or something on your thrall. You're dealing with hectic bosses or mammoths and stuff that have a lot of armor. We're doing all right. First boss. That's where the other path comes out. If you're really desperate for hides, you can go up there as well to the first boss. It's Panther. You can hack it up for Shade Bloom. Get him to go in first. That's the waters a bit. Oh yeah. I get so confused. Oh. Come here, you bugger. Skinning him. Let's try hacking him up with this thing. Yeah. And then the door will open up. That one leads to the middle again. So you want to go through this door. And you'll be presented with some options again. We have some cats, some peoples, and some bears. I like to go down the way of the bears. And these guys are pretty chunky, as you can see. So if you are not as prepared, you can go the way of the humans. They're a little bit easier. Memory. I like to go this way because you can get baby bears. I'll get some baby bears. There's also a glowing goat cave that's pretty decent. And bear pelt is a good source of thick hide. If you try to not use all of your stamina, you'll um not get the debuff for the cooldown period more than the debuff. Although I am not the best at regulating, whoa, all the bears, my stamina by any means. Hey, good time like now, thunder weapon would be pretty decent. We'll level up, nice. Keep that one occupied. Oh, do you like, you get quite the cooldown debuff. Now we got a bugger all, stamina is quite hard to avoid it. Why would you do that there? You just confused my thrall. Well, that's probably why you did it. Well, no, animals aren't smart enough to like confuse the thrall on purpose. Ah, like stuck in his existence. Like that. I want his things. Again, everyone. Drop some nonsense. I dropped too much more nonsense. That's unfortunate. Could have put my bearer's hat as well. That would have helped me a little bit. But then I would have had less armor. So that's, yeah. Drink some water if you're thirsty. It's about to fill up your water skins. If you're not traveling with something like purified water or juices or a lot of iced teas or something on you, I do advise having more than one water skin. They don't last that long. Especially venturing in places like um, the unnamed city. You'll go through water so quickly there, or over near the dogs of the desert. Even up in the snow, like you, anywhere with slightly hotter places, 
the volcano, you'll go through a lot more water. I'll get so much more pelt. If you're like really keen, you'd keep it all. I want to stay as nimble for as long as possible. You know what? I'm probably just going to end up filling myself up anyway. And we're going back to the hide. It is at this point she realized being full is inevitable. He is a loot goblin. And I'm about to pick up baby pears, so... I mean, I came this far. I probably will never need this much glowing goop unless you're making absinthe or something. I don't know why you'd need that much unless you're making the feats of together. There should be some baby bears in here, which I want to try and pick up. Oh, where'd the baby bear go? Damn, we lost one of them. Oh, he got put down very quickly. I've been using this. It's just affecting my shit. Also, are you right? Not having game sound? Ah, oh, game sound, man. The vein of my life. Well, now we got some game sounds again, so that's nice. Apparently, sorry about that. I miss animation cancelling. When I just like whacked off into strange directions, I could just stop that much quicker. And you could pull out your harvest a lot quicker too. Well. That baby bear's long gone. I am doing pretty well considering I have no health and I don't have like the best build or armor. I just have lightning kits on it and half medium actually. I was gonna do all of it in the thing that helps old mate out the altus armor. I'm wearing hat, gloves and shoes and then void fudge dragon heavy for the rest. A little bit extra stamina helped. I think with this build especially maybe even eating like some different stamina foods would probably help a bit as well the health food wouldn't hurt either considering most of, them, most of them aren't doing a huge amount total damage reduction is 73 so that's pretty decent considering bears are cool because you just need like honey Feed them to give them the greater chance, I'm pretty sure. I don't even think you need feed space, honey. More water you can drink here, then there'll be like more bears up this way. That's where the people one leads out. And it definitely is a bit of a longer dungeon, especially if you're harvesting everything and you've got not the greatest thrall with you. I mean, he's not what the worst either, but probably having some type of thunder weapon on him would have helped or an alternative thunder weapon for me so I could apply some so that just go down a bit quicker. Definitely ways to get it done quicker. I wish healing arrows worked just for like this. They That perk where they heal themselves out of damage, I don't, out of um battle doesn't seem to work, I don't think, with corruption on. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is the way with the kitties, not the people. The one of these ways must lead with the way with the people. Anyway, they all basically lead to the same place. So you don't have to be too concerned with which path you take. Oh, I just checked their bodies like I was playing EV modded server. Shout out Sanctum of Cthulhu. I've been um, playing on there again a little bit recently. Might end up doing some AOC and Iwa Let's Plays. There's some really fun mods. And Sanctum of Cthulhu is one of the best PvE modded servers that I've come around. Really great community, excellent admins. I think it's fairly balanced anyway for like time spent to ratio of effort and fun achieved. And a lot of the other mods are really dope as well. I highly recommend checking it out. And now we're up to the second boss. We're almost halfway done. This is already 30 minutes, so I really hope I can cut this down a bit. <laughs> when I'm running around, I do try to eat at least a food so I can um, get the sated. If you're buying iced teas from Sepimaru or the Volcano, they're um, pretty worthy to just smash a whole bunch down, getting the stacked buff of it, the regen. And it's really cheap to get them like a silver coin or something. And you can come by so much silver over there, so it's definitely worth buying your iced tea compared to like actually crafting it. That requires herbal tea and herbal tea requires a bunch of nonsense. And iced tea actually decays into herbal tea anyway, so you kind of get, well, the herbal tea must have expired already. Then it expires after the herbal tea. 
in him. We have a bunch of shade bloom for making shade bloomy stuff. And then again, the path will open up and then the way that you are to go will open up this way. Facing opposite the mouthy gateway that leads you back to the middle. Facing that to the right is the way you came and to the left is where you want to go if you ever get turned around, which can happen in here. So we're coming up to gorillas. Okay, saber cats are down that way. I prefer not to go down that way because I don't particularly love saber cats. So sorry if my mic is too close. Recently moved around my um, desk situation. Eventually when I live stream again, um, I usually live stream with Cam, my desk will be in a better spot than it was. I don't know why I'm looting them. If you're looking for zeal for your altars, it's decent to come here with a religious tool and god souls from these guys. It's not a huge amount of these guys, but they do add up. Hello, Mang. Are you serious? Stop it with your combo. I mean, roll out of that one. I think I'm messing my thrall up more than these guys. Ah! See, like, a bunch of thunder is not great. Yeah, I might as well just be using these ones for this build. Although the other ones do heal quicker from memory. The higher quality, the more they heal and the quicker. It is kind of still worth using the higher quality ones. Oh, good. Where'd they pop out of? That was wild. Grey Lotus Potion. Although I use Black Lotus Potions. Much cheaper. Okay, so it's best to not try and like tank them even with heavy armor because thunder is just gross. Okay, then sometimes there's more saber cats that run out of ESE. They're all like, get him. Ah, I've died here a bunch of times. Oh, fuck. No, no. Ah. Ah. Yeah, because they just like run out and you're not ready and it's kind of crazy and I don't love it. Crazy when you're like talking about an incident and then it like kind of just happens. Every cats aren't fun when they hit you. And this close, I kind of want to get the babies. Somewhere up here a little bit, there should be a couple of babies. Send him in first. Him to attack that guy. Why is he not dead yet? And sometimes the thralls are just really bad at killing. Some free rhino head soups. They're expensive, so it's nice to not have to craft them. Although I recommend using lasting beasts because they're a quite common drop and they're also much. Now the babies might have gone nuts because I did that. When I was farming for bombs and could be bothered, I would come like all the way up in here. Go all the roots. Now sometimes there aren't babies either. But I'm fairly sure I've seen babies. They just ran away. Oh, there. Got one. Sometimes you can find like two or three babies. It is better to get them before you fight stuff because they get scared and they run away. Every now and then they get slayed in the casualties of war. This is just one for now. I know lots of other spots up in the ice by a chasm and stuff to get done. I'm gonna have to build a better taming pen. Now you can shoot this guy. It is quite hard to shoot. I hope I'm gonna survive this fall. I have um nothing particularly to help me um shoot him unfortunately. I didn't bring a bow and arrow. Roll's not gonna go down there. I might fully die in this jump. I guess we'll fucking see. Whoa shit. Oh okay good. No didn't die. Love that for us. He's distracted. Come on Throlly. And he can like whack you out of the hemisphere, so try to avoid that move. His Throly came. Throly's gonna have to probably do a lot of this fight. As a. Whoa. Yeah, it's not great if you get flung out there. Don't advise it. 
That's why Thrall's a handy too, because they can just like hide him out there. I guess I'll just stand here and wait. I do advise bringing a bow and arrow and sitting up on that ledge wherever we were up there and shooting him for a while. He can um just disappear into the gas. Very annoying. He didn't bring a gas mask. It was kind of handy for bringing gas masks just for this moment. Otherwise, it can take forever because I haven't been able to fight him. I just paused the recording for ages because this was annoying. But at least he's come back out now. Whoa, whoa, not in the gas, man. Calm down. A thunder weapon would have done wonders here too. Once he is dead, the gas shall disappear. Lucky. Now the gas is gone, you can run up here. And as far as I know, there's no boxes or anything in here. It's just a loot from the peoples you kill. Okay, and then we got some more wolves and then some werewolves, which aren't too bad. And that way it's just going to lead back to the middle, so you don't want to go that way. And we are coming up to the final boss. This is some decent throw level. At least for my little dogs of the desert dude here. Hawk him up again. He's going to need it just for general food in a minute. Hawk does an extra damage buff if you're unaware. You can feed them regular food and pork and potions. And the Whoa! It's um, best if you don't skin wolves and you actually attack them. These guys do bleed, but they're not too bad. more hyena furs and then this is the bus room and he kind of like has them around a lot i think it would be cool if some of these were amanitas and some of them were puffballs whatever you can always go to the jungle for a lot of puffballs and you don't want to use a meat cleaver preferably i come up and get a lot of meat so help a little bit i suppose he's not too rough I do have 73% armor reduction though, mind. You know what? I'm already so full. Let's rebuff with the mystery mate soup and get a little bit extra health. Get your meat cleaver out. Whether we actually got that many flesh. Whoa, shit. See, a lot of flesh of remembrance. You also want to eat one of those pretty much straight away. I don't think they have a huge timer. Oh, it's not a bad timer, but still. Other than that, get double sog. Double sog religion. What we're looking for is unlocking the level two altar and getting purified blood, which allows you to turn demon blood into regular blood. And it's one demon blood, I think, for five or ten blood i'll have to clarify that and then if you have a corrupted liver you can put that in your fluid press and turn one human blood into 50 demon blood so it's a nice little cycle of blood but you have to do events either on sipta and get a bunch of the corrupted liver or through the statues at the gray ones pools or do the events around here i'm not sure which ones drop it yet so i will have to go do a few but i'm fairly sure you can get it on exiled lands but if not i'll um show you where to learn double sag on Sipta as well at some point. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that anyway. And then you head on down to this little pool. I'll let you back here. Well, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you found it a handy little guide. Ever doubted yourself for doing the dungeon? As you've seen, I've got the crazy build. It was super easy. Came out with all of the hides, which is pretty excellent. This guy's like got all the hides. It's like, that's a lot of hide, man. And I do have better sources of hide, like I said, that is like, well, debatably better. It's less varieties of different hides, so it's more efficient on PvP. You don't get slug capped and all of that. Eat the Flesh of Remembrance. Get the Jebel Saga Religion. Takes maybe like, I'm going to say 20 minutes to an hour, depending on if you're skinning everyone, if you're fighting everyone. You can do it even quicker. Basically, the only thing you can't really cheese is the bull, as far as I'm aware, and the other bosses. As long as you can fight the gorilla boss, the cat boss, and the bull boss, you're pretty good. And like, obviously that end dude. But you can run around and shoot him and chase him as well. Because you don't really have to fight everything else. Like, I just wanted a lot of hide. So there's a really good source of hide, like I said. Get a couple of baby animals in the process. Hopefully we get some graders here. I don't use animals that often, but I'm gonna get purged any minute. I decided to not um, turn that off for now. I'll show you all how to cheese that um, at the time though, but I won't actually do it. The next purge, maybe. See how crazy. 
crazy it is where they decide to hit. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. And oh, there's a fat arch priest that I don't need. There's always one when I don't need one. I hope you have an excellent day, evening, morning, night, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. If you haven't checked out my Let's Play series, this is kind of like a continue on from some of that as well. Most of my dungeon guides are filmed from my Let's Play. Do check that out. There's a link somewhere around here at the moment. Highly appreciate the views. Until next time, not sure what I'm doing yet. Probably another dungeon guide, some more Let's Plays. Might even check out another game or two, which would be wild. Till then, have a good one. Bye!